Hi travellers, I'm Anne's daughter Lily Con, and welcome back to my Getting Sick Whilst Living and Working Abroad series. Okay, so this is day day eight. Um, so basically, what I've been doing all week is so if I didn't say earlier, I don't know what I filmed when I haven't. I have pneumonia and pleurisy at the same time. Woo, lucky me. So anyway, I'm up to day eight of treatment, and so I get these drips, and I have my same bed, which is nice. So basically. On Friday, when I first had the like tremendous shoulder pain, I came in and I just, I don't know, it just all came over me and it was just awful. I'm not one for hospitals, I've never really been sick in my life, so I've been quite fortunate in that respect. So it just was very out of body for me, and yeah, I had to get all sorts of tests and my first CT and just being in the ER rather than just watching it on a TV show, so that was, yeah, not fun. And I believe that day basically cost me 2,100 RMB. And then since then, I've had the same hospital bed that I come back to every day, and it costs between one and 200 RMB per day for the drips and I guess holding my hospital bed and it's apparently the tests that are the expensive part so I'm not familiar being from New Zealand with having to pay for treatment it's a very weird concept to me and I finally had to be like whoa how much is this costing me only on day eight I don't know how much longer this goes for I've been getting antibiotics every day and I've been very lucky because I have an amazing friend in Australia who I've been messaging non-stop to just be like and she's a nurse and just really passing everything by her because basically I you know as much as I have lived and worked over abroad overseas for a number of years now it's very different when you're in sort of a more vulnerable position using the translator to try and get across messages it's difficult with uh, medical terminology because it doesn't always translate well for example the other day my doctor told me i was getting a bosom exercise that was what the translator said <laughs> of course i'm just laughing because that's hilarious and <laughs> what did he even mean so whatever it said yeah it just translates terribly so that is difficult um and also is the limitation because medical jargon is very specific i have been so lucky in that regard to have such an amazing friend in my corner that has taken all my questions like for example why is my wrist purple this hand never gets used for anything and yet i have bruising and the doctor has no idea and i also have bruising on this wrist too and that makes sense because that's where my drip's going in. But what is with this hand? Oh, it's so ugly. And I'm so lucky this hospital has free Wi-Fi. And then I connect to my VPN. As you've seen today, I've been sitting watching The View. 